Now that we have our chords and our melody, I'd like to move on to the 808. And for our 808 sounds, we're going to use a sample pack from a producer named Jay Cactus. He makes incredible sample kits. And if you're looking for something like that, you should definitely check him out. Um, let's listen to the 808. I'm going to play the uh, track while we listen to the 808 samples and pick one out that'll fit. And just like we did with the instrument sound, I'm going to change the envelope. Do like this, turn everything down, and then it. And you have more control over it. Okay, so what I did there was I just created a, an 808 pattern that um, I was kind of hearing in my head. And then once I laid it out on the root notes, I lowered some down. And it just add, gives it a, like a ba-boom effect. Ba-boom, ba-boom. And something else you might even want to try, you can go up an octave with it. Now I have an 808 going, I want to start the drums. I'm going to come over here to the browser, check out the kicks. Let's play the beat. There's our kick. Let's get a snare. snare. Now let's pick a hi-hat. Hi-hat. A folder of perks up here I wanted to use. Percussions. All 
right, now that I'm going to program the drums, I'm going to switch over to the step editing section. All right. And we're going to go ahead and program in a drum pattern. Okay, so I want to begin with the hi-hats, and I'll show you a quick trick on how to do that. We're going to fill each four, and then real quick go back to the piano roll. Now, I want to clone this. Now, uh, I'm going to change the volume of every other one. This is going to give it swing. Instead of them all being the same velocity, every other one is lowered. Okay, so there's real simple hi-hats. We'll go back and add some rolls later. I'm going to send those to an effects chain. I want to reduce the volume on that hi-hat a little. Turn it down 3 dB. I'm going to throw an EQ on it and probably take out some of the highs. All right, let's put in the snare. In a trap beat, the snare goes in on the three and the seven. So that's there and there. Okay, now for the kicks, you usually want your kick to follow your 808. And the 808 might change, the kicks might change, but where we're at right now, let's just program in the kicks uh, along with the 808. I wanted to change the kick up a little bit. Let's we'll send that through an effects chain. Now we'll do some percussion. pick out a few more percussion sounds.
Now I'd like to add some hi-hat rolls. When you add your hi-hat rolls, you want to change your grid to quarter step. You can zoom in and get more granular. I'll program in a roll and then might move it around. So I programmed in some hi-hats and you'll notice I used uh, pitching. You want to pitch up a few semitones, down a few semitones. It just adds a little variation to the monotony of the hi-hat just ticking along. Uh, so you'll notice a few rolls here and there, more pitching down here, a few rolls at the end. So it came out sounding like this. <laughs> to do a little mixing on the 808. I'm going to solo out the 808 channel and I'm going to add something called a saturation knob. And just pull the knob up and it adds saturation. we're going to add some reverb. And we'll bring the reverb way back. 10%. Well, uh, let's turn up the low cut. I don't want any reverb on the lows. That's still too much. finish this off.
right, I'm gonna end the tutorial there. I hope you picked up some tips and tricks off this, and I'll see you on the next one.